Hello and welcome to the PPE Community Cup. Today I am joined in cast by Big Boy Abby. Hello, hey, Abby. Hey, boys. You ready? You keen for some Overwatch? Yeah, man. It's going to be an interesting one today, especially with the bands and protects out. Yep. Uh, so it's probably just in case it's the first time you're joining us. Uh, PPE Community Cup is different in that we have a band protect system. And the system works as such. Each team can select one of three choices before the match begins. You can either A, ban two enemy heroes, B, ban one enemy hero and protect one hero for your own team, or three, protect two heroes. So if you protect a hero, obviously the bans of the enemy team, if they're selected on that one hero, uh, it's, it's negated. So if, say, Team B were to ban Lucio, but team a protected lucio they can still play lucio and vice versa so with that mechanic in mind these two teams have already selected what they're gonna what they've banned and protected and so forth morph the team you see in blue our boys in blue today have decided to ban lucio and protect lucio meanwhile ascend the boys in red have banned winston and reinhardt so this is going to mean that morph cannot play reinhardt or winston and ascend can just not play Lucio, and that's it. So interesting to see what Morph's gonna have to play here with no Ryan or Winston. For what do you reckon, Abby? Ready for that quad DPS comp? I'm, yeah, the... I'm, I'm loving it. This is gonna be great. Well, uh, it's, it's either gonna be that or pirate ship, whatever it's available, really. Or a or a dive with Winston. Be what would all what of Winston? <laughs> I mean, not Winston. Sorry. Oh my god. Uh, with ball. With ball. Yeah, true. True. Yeah. I mean, some really people good. consider Ball to be a main tank. Depends Both. on who play him. He, you yep. can either make him a feeder or a main tank. <laughs> <laughs> Player play choice is a stylistic choice, really. Yeah. Anyway, uh, both teams appear to be ready, so we will go in the game in 3, 2, 1. Dorado, first game of the match. It's a best of five, I do believe. We should be heading into the lobby any second now. Any <laughs> second now. Dude, cast is cast. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I know from last week with yep. Morph Academy, one of the people to watch would be Kira. Uh, really good Zen last week. Um, I was the moderator for that match. Both teams so have decided look out to leave Zen in the pool, which is interesting, considering he's such a, a strong hero in all yeah. competitions. Even even after the nerfs come out that were on the PTR. Oh, yeah. and we're entering game. Yeah, there we go. Only 20 seconds late. It's all right, <laughs> you know. It's a community cup, boys. We're not we're not a five star hotel, you know. <laughs> uh, so loading in, our boys in blue are going to be on the defensive side. Yeah, that should be how it works. Yeah, it is. I'm not a complete idiot. They Ooh. are going for what you said, almost in its entirety. The quad DPS. Yeah, bit of a scuffed host though, as the match hasn't started. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, boys! It was just a quick warm up for the players. You know, got to get those nerves out, get the <laughs> little bit of free time in there, a little bit of play time. But play time's over, and now they're braining up a storm in each alternative spawn. It's still the boys in blue on the defensive side. We'll see if they'll be running the same thing. That's could could be pretty major if if one of these guys has a photographic memory and uh memorized what the uh, the opposing team chose. Counter picks within counter picks. Yeah. But it could have been a double debate and they could have picked heroes that they weren't gonna play at all to mislead the enemy team. So you just don't know. Ready for battle. Oh, it anyway. looks like it was. I don't I don't yeah. see many we're gonna be running that far mercy on the on the red side with a Hanzo. Yeah, and Zarya. opting to not have the Zenyada, so they will not have a defensive ult, and that means that uh, Oracle Al could get some big blades this game, especially with Kira's nano boost. You said Kira was someone yep. to look out for. Yeah. Yep. So wait for the big big blade combos. <laughs> yeah, no defensive all. That's teamwork. Good disaster. Five. Teamwork makes the dream work, boys. And here we go. Two, one. Attackers. Attacking side. Exiting. They do have the Reinhardt Zarya. 
So I can hold the payload pretty confidently for now. Just pushing it up Div on the high ground. Training a little bit of pepper damage from above. And Farrah just spamming into that shield with the help of Hercules on the hard zone. Uh, monkey see, monkey do, walk on cart, move cart. Easy so <laughs> far. Now we approach the archway where things could start to pick up a little bit. Farrah trying to get the angle on the left, but Tiger Bro hitting the shots on the pocket of Farrah. And she has fallen. Also a huge anti-nade onto Wolfback's Reinhardt. And that is two players down for a set and right fight over. Yep, just like that. Call for a regroup. <laughs> two pay on the Zarya. For Ascent, does have a lot of high energy, so it could potentially build up towards this Graviton fairly quickly. Oh, Sombra. Switch out the fire for the Sombra. Which will be an interesting next. I've been completely demolished like that. You you can't blame the man. You gotta move on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Hercules finds an opening pick onto Genji as Reinhardt decides to take full advantage and push through. Unfortunately, the rest was there on the Genji. The Nana Boost out onto the robotic horse. It's Orisa. She's pushing the shield, pushing as far forward as she possibly can and does so successfully. It looks like it's going to be another successful hold for Morph. A really solid defense so far. Unfortunately, uh, they didn't camp the body of the Genji, so that was a very easy res for the Mercy. Re-establishing the defensive side. Completely, especially with the Nana Boost. Genji almost dying to the Sombra. Dashes out nice and safely, though. Reinhardt, yet again, pushing forward. He does have the Shadow, so Orisa needs to be careful here. You can tell he is looking for it. The Sleep Out's there with the anti nade but a huge Shadow coming out from Wolfpack. He has the Nana Boost as well, but as I say, that is Genji going off in the back line. He finds one. Will he be able to find more? He finds the Anna as well. That could be the picks that they need to keep this def defense up, and indeed it is defense still holding strong they did have to commit just a couple ultimates just the blade along with the the valkyrie and on the the uh the attacking side ascend only committed the nano boost by the looks so they did have to oh no they they, they used the uh, the shatter as well of course but now they've finally decided side of ascend that anna is not working out the discord orb from the zen yada will provide a little bit more in the long run Especially as they just got torn a new one by that Genji Blade. Uh, no defensive ults, you know. It really does cause serious issues. Anyway, Ascend opting to take the high ground now. No longer want to stand really nearly in this choke point. Unless Wolfpack just wants to jump back down anyway, which he does. Fair enough, got to keep that car moving forward. A big EMP with the Graviton Surge to follow. That is one dead diva if I've ever seen it. The Dragon has committed two. That's three ults on one woman, but the Reinhardt has fallen. Nanabu's throws on the horse, but she does die immediately. Fortunately, there's a res. And as I'm saying all of this, the backline, the DPS duo, Tiger Bro and Mr. Ow on the Genji are just cutting through, slicing through Team Ascends like a warm knife through butter. Or a... a, a, a yeah, something like that. Abby, what do you reckon? What do they need to do? Ascend only have 30 seconds. What do you do here? Oh, at this point, you just gotta be, you just gotta hope that you're gonna get one of the good picks. Position yourself, get, follow up on any hacks or any ultimate. Yeah, well, they really are on the back foot. The defensive side, Morph, have almost every ultimate in the game to work with right now. Did you see, High Noon coming out. But a Oh, big! Is gonna get that. Genji does get the first pick, and it looks like, as a result of Oracle Owl just popping off right then and there, three picks to his name, they should be able to hold this quite firmly. And on the first point as well, so this is gonna be really rough. I went, yeah, really rough moving into the next round for Ascend after such a strong hold from Morph. Yeah, that Genji was really, really stood out. And. Most in the last round. Constantly on the back line, constantly getting those picks. Didn't even need the nano most of the time. Especially yeah, when they played. Yeah, they kept it on the Orisa most of the time just to keep her alive in the front line. Had a little bit longer. Yeah, Mercy well, also wasn't getting punished for her reses at all. Uh, yeah, a large time. majority of the deaths were in the back line of, uh, of more. Sorry, was Morph the defending team? Defensive side. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the kills were in the back line or to the side of Morph, so there wasn't really you weren't able to protect against those reses. 
as good as you'd like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Ascend can't play Lucio, the one hero that would allow them to punish uh, and take advantage of those those picks that they do occasionally get is not in the pool. So, with a team composition that doesn't have the mobility, so, i.e., the having the Reinhardt and the Zarya, they just can't close the gap quick enough before the Mercy gets the res out, which is really unfortunate because they would be able to if they had the Lucio. But bam, PPE Community Cup boys. Banned. Get that shit out of here. He's banned. Lucio's gone. He's not here. He's out of the game. Friendship with Lucio ended. Looks like we're about to see the uh, Bastion come out. This will be interesting. And on the defense as well. Very interesting. What? On both sides? <laughs> what? Oh well. <laughs> it should be working. Shield game. Here we go. Yeah, which shield falls first? Uh, looks like <laughs> it's gonna looks be... Like it's Morphs, so that's really gonna hold the push. A nice hook onto the Mercy, but he does get counter hooked, fortunately. The fat, fat bastard himself has the ability to pay, gonna wiggle his way out of that one. Tiger Prolo, look at this man. He's picked up the Mega, he's looking for a chinky flank, I reckon. Waiting on the hook shot. Waiting for the confirmation from his team. Hey guys, is it alright if I go around here? Yeah. Ah. He's waiting, waiting for something. I don't know what it is. There he goes. Big boy on a, on a mission right now. Alright, uh, well. I don't know where he's going. To be quite honest with you, he's looking for the angle in the back, but you're not going to get it there, mate. I can tell you that much. The cart trying its best to push forward. The defense matrix keeping Kira alive on this bastion. But Hercules keeps finding these picks with the help of his team. The res is fortunately there. And Kira on the point, laying down the damage with the help of his team. Looks like the defensive side are already two down, so Morph, a really strong showing right now. Will the dragon be enough? He does get one, and Bastion down, is down as well. So right now it's 3v3 on the payload, but the healing is on the side of Morph right now. A big bomb coming out from Random Thing that should end it single-handedly. Getting two picks and two bay does have the whole goal going. I don't think... No, Bastion will be able to touch in time. Hercules... Gonna have to be just as strong as the real Hercules here to be able to turn this one around. Unfortunately, the Valkyrie from the Mercy is not gonna be enough. For the, the round isn't over yet. Wolfpack is on the ball. He's on the point. The Transcendence is coming through the heels. There, someone is a touch. No one's there. And there you go. The first game will go to Morph Academy. Just you get like a C9 in chat. <laughs> Can we get a C9 in chat? Play the game. Mackie D's play of the game, going to Tiger Bro. On his McCree. Let's see if the damage boost. No, no damage boost required. Just dink, dink, dink. He's not actually hitting dinks, but you know what? You don't need to hit him when you're 100% accuracy on the body shots. And there it is. One dink at the very end. We're going to handball this one over to Dan with the analysis. What do you got? Uh, I mean, I guess we'll start things off because uh, looking at the Ascent's attack, because. The defense, they adjusted well, considering that they couldn't play uh, Reinhardt or Winston. The previous, I guess, meta comp through, you know, watching a lot of competitive gameplay really was that uh, Orisa Diva or Orisa Hog sort of uh, pairing, which they managed to follow through in their attack as well. But in having a look at a sense team comp, I actually really liked the their initial comp of with the Fire and the Hanzo to do the shield pressure. I just don't think that they executed in playing slow enough to poke the shield of the Orisa and get that advantage. I found that was, um, they were trying to speed things up too too quickly and trying to get the picks in the back line rather than doing the shield pressure, uh, personally. Yeah, and perhaps then, the swap was a little bit too preemptive from the Pharah. Died once, swapped off immediately. And then swapped on to the Sombra. Um, Sombra value wasn't the most, uh, especially with their Diva doing a lot of uh, counter um, counter scouting against the Sombra. And what I mean by that is just randomly spraying everywhere to try and reveal that Sombra. Bit of that spy check. Exactly, the spy <laughs> check. The good old TF2 reference. Um, so I really found that it wasn't ideal uh, how they swapped and then the objective with their comps, they weren't really executing those objectives. When you look at Morph on their attack, even though that they couldn't um, 
obviously run those two main tanks. They had the Widow go around the flank, create some room, and then allowed the to use the Bastion to push the payload once the attention's drawn away. So they, you know, they they're adjusting well morph. I'd like to see that with Ascend personally. Yeah, definitely executing those win conditions from your team composition morph certainly has the advantage so far. But looks like both teams are ready to get back into the game. By the looks, let me just double check this. Uh, yep, that is correct. So we will go into our next game. Remember, Morph Academy is now one up in a best of five series between these two teams. We're going into Blizzard World for the next. One of little, my most oh. hated maps. Why is that? Oh, I just don't like Blizzard World. It, there's, I don't know, at the same time, it's too open, it's too closed. I, what do you have against Blizzard, man? Blizzard made I this hate game. Blizzard. Blizzard's the worst. <laughs> delete Blizzard. <laughs> Just delete Blizzard. Well, hopefully no Blizzard representatives watch the stream. Boys, are getting shut down. Effective immediately. Banned. Yeah. Banned. Well, uh, this lobby has been set up correctly this time, boys. So, poll champ in the chat. Ready for High quality stream. And defensive side, Mr. Mr. Team Morph. Looking to opt for that Orisa again with the Bastion. And they do have Kira on the Zenyatta, Bazza Field on the Mercy. A pretty typical composition about like a meta or two ago. The Moth the meta. That's about all you used to see. <clears throat> These days a little bit less common. But still, you know. Mercy definitely has her has her usages. In not as necessary as she used to be. No, de definitely not. Fortunately, For all of us Mercy mains, it's kind of sad. <laughs> the moth had to die eventually. The lifespan of a moth only is only so long. And the Bastion coming up into the high ground now with the boys, gang gang. And Ascent looking for the 2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. Don't have any defensive vaults, but uh, perhaps not going to mean as much as no significant... Uh, significant ultimates that they need to watch out for that are gonna not just kill you instantly anyway. Anyway, the push begins for Ascend and so does the defense. For Morph, the damage is coming out pretty swiftly from the Bash and then they've already picked up a kill on Tupe and that's the Zarya pick as well. The glue that holds most compositions together has been unstuck. It's been snapped in two. And Hercules, you poor man, how do you actually get out of that? I don't know, but Swerp certainly didn't. So Hanzo down. On the respawn and go again. Tiger Pro in the front line, just trying to build up that ultimate as well. EMP, absolutely massive. We saw it last game, but unfortunately, the execution from the rest of the team wasn't quite there. But Tiger Pro looking to show Ascend how it's done on the Sombra. Already 93 way towards the EMP. We could see it used here, but unlikely as they do have the LOS from the building. Gonna keep them nice and safe while that shield recharges. Oracle Owl. Still just sitting steady. The team is not afraid, but they need to be careful when they cross this next corner. Arissa can block the pin from the Reinhardt, so don't really have to worry about that one. And they do have the Diva as well. You can see he's looking for it, but Hercules in the meantime has found Kira on the Zenyatta and they're moving towards the point. This is exactly the window of opportunity that they need. And this could be what's to us on the point. The MP is out, whoever, and so is the Bastion coming in from on high. He's found one, but the team has found the rest. A very nicely executed EMP to follow up with the rest of the team. Pitch perfect execution. All they needed were two ults there to uh, undo the window that Ascend had found for themselves. Which I'd say is pretty damn effective use of the ultimates. Coming up, we've also got uh, the defensive Zenyatta along with the Mercy ult. It'll be interesting to see whether they use it defensively or offensively. Mercy's ult can be pretty strong yeah. against the push. Judging by the, the the defensive kind of composition that they have, they're probably going to use the drones defensively. Mercy ult definitely can be used offensively though, and it has been popped along with the Transcendence and the Diva Bomb. The Diva Bomb is huge though! The random thing picks up four on the point, and that is one push that will go no further. Morph put their foot down. Now this is our turf, boys. Leader team doesn't appear to have any ultimates coming up. 
No. Uh, Wolfpack almost has the Earth Shatter, but with the, comp the, the sort of positioning that Morph has right now on the high ground, good luck getting the Earth Shatter off. Uh, but of course, if they do what they did last time, you know, you will force them down to point. At least one. A solo Shatter <laughs> might be what they need. Oh, look. Swerved in the back line. Could get a big hack. But no, the Diva. The Scout, as you mentioned earlier. Revealing her. And there you go. The Bongo is out. The EMP again from Tiger Pro. And it's a big one. They have d max Tupe. That's a lot of the damage absorption that they have for that team. And Oracle is just going in. He does get shattered. But Wolfpack is low and he has fallen. Even on the back line, Swerved is doing as much as he can. The damage is being dealt. But unfortunately, his health is really quite low. Only 15 seconds on the clock as well. Another nice hold from Morph. And I don't even know if they have someone to touch. Yeah, they do. They have Tracer. Hercules. Hey Gonna have to be as swift as a coursing river right now to get onto the point. Wolfpack is there with the ball as well. He's just swinging his partner round and round. Diva Bomb. It's gonna have to be a big one. It is quite large. Picks up two or one and a half rather. And the point is picking up. Mystic Leaf. The ultimate in the background. The background from Al Kilal. Could be what they need to hold this. The fight is still going on and the shield is there from Morph, so really, they don't have much to worry about because they don't have the damage to take down the shield, and it's just so perfectly executed from Morph right now. They know their limits, they know how they need to be playing this, and they really are just doing what they need to do. Def defending the Bastion, keeping the shields up, the pressure, the ultimate usage, not using, not busting their load, not busting everything in at once, you know. Yes. They're definitely practicing patience. <laughs> you kind of have, you have to when you don't have your main tanks. <laughs> yeah, no. It's right almost as if they've predicted this in practice. I mean, or maybe they're just really good on the on the off meter comp. Yeah, maybe their brains are just that large. They know exactly, you know, the the best composition with Reinhardt and Winston out of the pool. It's big brain gamers on this morph side. Ascend, trying their best. Doing their best. <laughs> You're just happy to be yeah. here. No, I still believe in my boys. Most definitely. They're not out of it yet. Well, they're it's in just home turf. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go. Uh, looks like a scent. Opting again for the Reinhardt. Wolfpack loves this Reinhardt, man. Like a moth to a flame. Wolfpack is the moth. Oh, is the in, in banning the Reinhardt and the Winston, you sort of give yourself as a Reinhardt a bit of a kiss. They tend to run either mobility comps or bunker comps. Definitely. Which... He, has hit, he has hit a fatty shatty uh, in the last game, so gonna have to see more of those than the. More of those, more cleanups. Yeah. They really need to step into the driver's seat of this game, as right now they are. They are riding shotgun. Taking, letting uh, letting Morph take them on the ride. Diva just putting up towards her ultimate. Could, needs to be a little bit careful. She is on top of the high ground by herself. And she does get d -mecked. A nice dash from Oracle. But I think he dashes right into a trap. So that's a one for one trade. Just about. This Diva not very useful. Tiger Bro getting Vetrix in the back line. And Kira on the ball. Man, truly versatile in both off tank and uh, support. And the Farah is free to do whatever she wishes right now. The Zenyatta is doing his best to take her out, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Rez also on to Kira, so Toupee, the last man standing on the point. And Morph just steamrolled through with this quad DPS team composition. Wolfpack doing his best to keep the point and dream alive. Hercules too. But unfortunately, McCree is not known for his incredible survivability options. Mercy more so, but look, when you're 1v4ing, 1v5ing as a Mercy on the point alone, naked and afraid, you're not going to get too much done. And Morph Academy take the second match in this best of five. Dan, what are your thoughts? Uh, I mean, I guess, do we want to start with Ascend's uh, offense or Morph's defense? Which one do you want to start with? Whoa. Start with the offense. Yeah. Start with the offense? Okay. So, I I liked how 
um, Ascend was actually trying to move about dealing with the Bastion. Obviously, the Zarya is not a good matchup, the Reinhardt Zarya against the Bastion. However, they decided to swap that Zarya to a Diva when they first got out. I personally would have liked to see them almost go to a a off goats comp, if you know what I mean, by still running the Reinhardt, the Zarya, and the Diva, and then just your three supports, because that would have allowed them to still push on to the Bastion and remove where he was, and not really worry about Sombra, because the Diva can kind of deal with that, and you can kind of still heal up and not be faced by too much pressure, personally. But you know what is harder to deal with? Not being able to play Lucio's there. Closing that gap, you know, Defense Matrix only lasts so long. So it, it is does. still a problem. A yeah. Issue. And what we noticed with that is that um, Ocula on his Bastion, he didn't really rotate around. He's just kind of like, I'm set up, I'm not moving. And you saw that, saw that places that he set up, there were still opportunities where Ascend could have rotated around uh, to minimize the engagement distance. Uh, especially on the top of the point, where it's setting up on the far left-hand side, away from the stairs. Uh, they had the right idea on their first attack, but they kind of lost it a little bit there near the end. Yeah, they and... only really saw that one grid push where they flanked around, you know, negating all the the uh, the entry points for the bash and all these LOS options. So they, they managed to dive through it once, but unfortunately... Yeah, once is not enough against that EMP. It really does hurt. <laughs> yep. Um, and then we'll kind of just look at a sense uh, defense. Uh, Morph was running four DPS, which is kind of what you would expect when you're having both main tanks banned out. You've either got the ball uh, dive or a heavy dive, where people are running a lot of four DPS as of current. Yep. So that's kind of expected, and not having a hit scan to deal with that really does hurt uh on the defensive side for for ascend and we really just saw morph kind of punish that and especially with two pay getting taken out of mech early which is the main thing to deal with the farah it stings it stings mate <laughs> <laughs> it really does they tried their best to huddle huddle together underneath the little shack on top of the point but that's not going to protect you enough the diva matrix is what gets you out of those binds and that was a really, really poor positioning, to be fair, on the on the on the round start. Almost got out with her life, but just a little bit more discipline there. Probably could have got out with her max still intact. An unfortunate mistake, to be sure. Hmm. No, certainly. Um. So, we'll, what I'd like to see from Ascend is either kind of look to go for like a off goats comp in dealing with uh, if they wanted to bunker up. Or go with that double spam, you know, both are decent options. And if they see the quad DPS, like, do switch to dive. Obviously, they don't have, they can't run the Lucio, but they can still make uh, decent swaps where they want to run the Ana Mercy, Zen Mercy. They can still run your dive, which was common in stage like two and three of Overwatch League before that Orisa double sniper comp kind of came up uh, yeah. in that stage four area. Well, we'll have to see if they take your advice that they definitely cannot hear in any way, shape, or form on board as we move into the third and potentially last match on Li Zhang Tao. We'll move into it right now. Let's go. Surely, Ascend, pull this back. They huddle together, they brain up a storm, and they get back into the fray with newfound uh, knowledge. Hindsight 2020 or, four, or something like that. They get back into it. I mean, they, they, they should at this point be able to expect the two compositions that Morph are going to be running to a T because they have run only two things throughout this uh, entire set so far. So if they can figure out a way to deal with both of those very like statically placed sort of compositions, then that's going to be the key to get them back into this game, which they sorely need in this match point. Or, yeah, I think it's match point. I really don't know the terminology. I'm not the smartest man on the block. But anyway, we can see the composition. <laughs> <We> can... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> go on, Gabby. 
Looks like we're going to see a uh, bit of a dive from the red team and a bit of a dive from the blue team. Yeah. Oh, well, very well Summer put. coming out. <laughs> bit of a dive, bit of this, bit of that. But yeah, the... Uh, bit of Genji, bit of Farah. The quad DPS coming out again from Morph. They have the Farah, the Widow, the Sombra, as you mentioned, and the Genji were just as a field, the only healer on their side on the Mercy. So if she is taken down, there will be no healing whatsoever. Uh, have that point, then. Oh, no. I'm getting deja vu here to pay out of the mech before the fight even begins. That's a big rut row raggy in my books. A serious problem that they'll need to overcome. Uh, as I say that, they're on the point. Ganji diving in. Looking to see what he can get, but it's going to be nothing at the moment. He swerved, overstepping his bounds right into the Sombra of Morph. Unfortunately, the Mercy is there. Wait, what? The point got ticked over by Morph. I thought that Ascend were winning this fight, but apparently not. The C9, the Mega Lul. Apparently, Bazafield does get the res. Not to Royal Eskimo, the Sombra. Really useful at DMAC and Toupee on that Diva. And Random Thing gets the pick. But a counter pick, followed up by Toupee. As a center trying to move to the point, they have popped the Valkyrie. But a big AMP coming out from Eskimo to follow up with Random Thing and Tiger Bro in the back line. Tiger Bro doing a good job hitting these shots. And the point was temporarily ticked over. Into uh, a center side, but swiftly counter cap, of course, as Morph now look to establish themselves in a nice, comfortable defensive position. P position. Wait, <laughs> no, Jesus. English. Looks like they're getting that uh, Reinhardt. Hopefully, he will he'll help uh, protect the Diva, as her D maker has been crucial in these last couple of fights. It definitely has, but a uh, hacked Reinhardt's, you know, it's in a potentially even more ineffective than a. A hacked Diva. But Farah, does she have the rocket barrage? Yes, she does, and it's a big one. She's picked up one, but the sleep dart was there. Doesn't really matter though, the damage has been done. And Farah didn't die either way. And Morph just steamroll, push that advantage, push the picks, get the staggers on board as they reset, and it looks like Ascend only really gonna have one time for a one more push. They do have Ocula. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> sorry. They, are, they don't have any ults to work with, really. Not really close to building any, except for the, with the exception of the Diva Bomb. But the Widow needs to be careful here. Target Bro dropping around really low. Just gets out by the skin of his teeth. So, swerves. That's not where you want to be as a McCree. Isolated. But same with Random Thing. The Oracle Owl has pulled out the blade. He picks up one. He has got the Ana and Tupe. Getting out just away from Genji's range. And the Valkyrie on the point for Ascend. This is the last hurrah, potentially, for this one fight. The Diva Bomb coming in. We've seen big Diva Bombs so far. Unfortunately, no kills to its name. Baza Field on the Valkyrie. Mercy right now just keeping his entire squad alive. As it's Tupe and Latte holding out for dear life on this point. But Ocular Hour has taken down Latte. Along with Vetrix. It's just the Diva on the point right now. Ball. Swinging in from the side, but he's not going to last very long as he has no healers. And there you have it, Morph. Going to be taking the first point. One this end. potentially last match. Score. Ooh, Ascend. Really. Tough working. game, tough very, game. Very tough game. Now, when you lose the first, you're slightly demoralized. And then when you lose the second as well, it's just a snowball effect from there. The Diva kept getting picked repeatedly. They were only able to build one ultimate and that entire map. Yeah. Was there. You'd hope to see a little bit At that more point, you're getting pretty countered. Yeah. Diva playing a more individualistic playstyle when it's just not working out. Needs to stick like Lou more so to her team, especially her main tank. See if they can get a bit more done by doing such. Anyway, Swerved has opted to go for the Farah. Off the McCree now. So it's a Farrah v Farrah. Random thing versus Swerve. See who is the better Farrah here in this matchup. Toupe always gets moved off the map by Mystic Leaf on the Hammond. And Toupe. Don't get DMX. Oh, Mystic Leaf. Oh, moved off the map by Swerve. That's an absolutely massive pick to start off this fight. The point's about to unlock and Genji is on it. 
So the point's starting to tick up. Random Thing has defeated Vectrix in the back line. And Oracle Owl also getting a pick of his name. So they're two down to the side of Ascent right now. But they do manage to cap the point. More. The point is just continues to tick up. And Tiger Bro is trying to, trying to keep this going. Trying to take the point back. And really this quad... DPS composition from Morph is working wonders in these big open maps where uh, mobility is key. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself, Andy. Well, they trying to get the cheeky picks from the left side here, but not hitting the heads. But that's okay. the barrel. You know who's worthy of their pocket. Uh oh, Royal Eskimo. Latte is down, boys, and there won't be a res. That's for sure. So immediately starting the fight 5 to 6 and this seems to be a very common trade, a trend, rather, for Ascend. And Widow is probably, might even struggle to get out of the spawn depending on what the uh, Eskimo wants to do on this Sombra. He has the MP and there it is, it's a big one! They're popping the entirety of the ult bank for Morph, just about. <laughs> they popped, what, three ultimates there? And only have the Mercy and the Pharah to spare. But... It's not really... Oh, <laughs> they've decided to just flex a little bit more. Throwing the barrage in there as well. Insult to injury. And barrage, it, get the stagger. Yeah. <laughs> she staggered herself as well though, didn't she? Wait, did she die there? Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah she died for it. Uh, interesting. They've decided to uh, ascend. Trying something new, finally. Perhaps a little Fixing too late when they have the brick going to be very effective at dealing with both the Genji and the Tracer. And as I say that, the Tracer is in the back line, free! Just shooting through Latte right now, tearing a hole inside of him. But Latte actually manages to pick him up, so here we go. Potentially the last fight for Ascend. They really need to get on this point right now, which they are. Element Hicks on that brig, really pressuring the Genji out of this point. And the Hammond doing Hammond things, just swinging around on the point. The Anna is dropping low. Has no nade available, so Mystic Leaf, with the help of the Trace, are going to be able to take that one down, surely. They do indeed, and Morph doing a good job. They have a lot of members alive here. And Ascend, they really need to survive on this point, but Al, another Genji Blade, pulled out, dealing the damage, getting the pick. Cap the point. And my, <laughs> cap the point. Really, just very convincing showing that Morph is a superior team in most aspects, unfortunately, you know, the, the t I, I'm, I'm not the analyst, man. That's why we have the big Dan. So, Dan, get in here. Your brain's bigger All than right. Me. Yeah, um, I guess we'll start off with, we'll look at, you know, we, we know what our comps Morph are going to run. They're going to more than likely run the ball on these control points. That was expected. Nice to be appreciated. I really liked the initial comps that Ascend came out with. Uh, we'll take, for instance, starting with Night Market that had the dive comp. Really liked it. It's actually the comp that you really want to be on in dealing with the um, with the the ball, uh, ball for DPS. And then I feel like just because they lost a fight, the the enemy just got in their mind a little bit rattled them and they made some odd swaps going to things like reinhardt against the four dps which is very slow especially when you don't have that lucio <laughs> yeah uh, okay. it feels like that they're over swapping themselves and kind of going oh oh i just need to survive and i think they're not really gelling as a team in playing that team uh goal in understanding what their role or objective is, especially with doing that for DPS. They had the right comp at the start, they just over-swapped, I feel like. Yeah, and it definitely, you saw the effect, especially in that very last round, you saw the effect that they had on their ultimate economy. When you saw Morph blow the entire bank of ultimates, and you're like, okay, this is Ascend's time to shine. But no, you look up at the ultimate counter, and there's there's only about one, just the Anna with the Anna boost. That Anna with the Anna boost, and that was about it. Yeah. So, Definitely the ultimate economy suffered from making those uh, swaps, as you mentioned. Yeah, most certainly. And, like, it does hurt. Um, and then we'll kind of go, as you said, into that second one. I really liked the uh, the ball and the diva with the two DPS and the two healers against the four DPS and ball. Like, 
overall it's a pretty even matchup if I had to say. I would like to see Ascend play more aggressive because they have the tanks. Uh, they can essentially commit HP uh, instead of trying to get those picks early on just from raw skill. They can just commit the bodies and actually roll over someone. Literally or physically, whichever <laughs> way you want to take it. <laughs> so I think that they played it too slow. Um, maybe they're not practiced on that ball. It kind of seems like it, but they're playing it too slow, playing the poke game in which favors Morph's, uh, Morph's game plan in that they only had the one healer. They had to play it slow. Yeah, it was like uh, Abby. Abby said it that like oh, I think it was the start of Blizzard World. It was almost as though Morph had prepared for this because they seemed so confident and competent on that uh, that ball quad DPS composition. So it's almost they like knew they knew this was coming. The time. Yeah, they yeah. think it with the big brains into the future. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they had a down pact. They, uh, if anything, I'd like to see Morph on the kind of taking back things to their Blizzard World. Their Bastion doesn't rotate often enough. Um, maybe it's just playing like they felt like that they didn't have to, but I think they have to be wary of how they play the Bastion because they don't they don't rotate when people kind of get fixated like I'm doing this. They're not going to deviate, which does create some problems in being able to adjust. And especially when you have have some really odd comps coming out, you need to be able to adjust quickly and change your position. Yeah, I think that's one thing kind of have to highlight for Morph to really improve on. Yeah, a cohesive and decisive ascend could easily turn the tides if they ever Most get certainly. the chance to face off against Morph Academy again. Which can they potentially? Can we see a rematch potentially later? Or is I... Mr. Dan? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a question. It's a, <laughs> it's yeah, a it's question. A question. <laughs> it's a question. Uh, it depends how PP goes in their future matches. Um, yeah. I mean, I we have to like have, Wolf one last. Yeah, like we have to take things with the you know grain of salt. This is an open SR tournament. Yeah. Um. So obviously, team play does count for a lot. SR doesn't mean everything, but you know, we expect a lot from Morph and Ascent. Obviously, they've been. Uh, you know, they have got some good team comps. They have some rough idea on how they're playing. But it shows that they are lacking in the individual and in being able to adjust on the fly as a team. Maybe shows some inexperience in that aspect. So they may be able to, but they've got a long way to kind of go to possibly get in a rematch. Yeah, perhaps they should participate in uh, every OCE esports player's favorite pastime and enjoy and relax and dine upon some nice hearty VOD reviews. Or competitive play. <laughs> Whoa, are you, are you taking this to mechanical <laughs> skill points? You, you're taking this to just mechanical skill? Is that what you're saying they're lacking in? Uh, so, I think they're playing good, a little bro. bit individual. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Gee, Dan, so toxic, man. Wow. Oh, boys, I can't believe you I can't believe you've done just that. Just click man. the damn hits, man. <laughs> That's part of the problem, yeah. Most certainly when you're on a Widow or a McCree. Well, all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up. I'm honestly a bit in the days because it doesn't feel like that match should be over so quickly. But more definitely showing that they are the more more uh, confident team. So yeah, more cohesive, be... most certainly. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little break here and then move. Uh, we'll have another match in very shortly. Olympia so... Odyssey versus Koalas and Trainers. Trainers is one of my teams, so Ooh. I bless them. <laughs> Please go right. forth for that win. <laughs> Shameless <Get> bad w. <laughs> Well, if they're your team, I'm automatically going to vote for the other team because... Oh, yes. I I, I would do the same, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nah, I would see some good players back and forth. <laughs> yep, definitely. So we'll take a short break, guys, and we'll be right back in a GIF.
Hello and welcome back to the PPE Community Cup. In case you're just joining us, I'll quickly go through the little ban protect system that we have. Each team can select one of three choices before the match begins. These teams have already made these decisions. Anyway, you can choose to either A, ban two enemy heroes, B, ban one enemy hero and protect one hero for your own team, or C, protect two heroes for their team. Uh, before I say which team has decided to do what, I am joined now by Ruku. Hello. Hello, Ruku. How you doing, my man? I'm all right. How about yourself? I'm good. Um, Ruku, would you like to uh, di divulge what both koalas and trainers, uh, one uh, team A and Olympia Odyssey uh, team B, have decided to ban and protect? Yes. Yep. <laughs> yes, I believe, from my information and from my memory, that yep. koalas and trainers has protected Ryan and banned Zazario. This is correct. Yes, I am correct. What a great sooner I am. And Olympia Excellent. Odyssey has banned Lucio and Moira. Lucio and Zen, very close. Lucio and Zen, there was support. Close. I was close. Let's get this started. <laughs> All right, so are both teams ready? Uh... Yep, they're good to go. Yep, good to go. All right, so first map, going to be Dorado yet again. For the PPA Community Cup. Second match of the night, or second series of the night, Olympia Odyssey versus Koalas in Trainers. Probably just going to call them Koalas and Olympias. Oh, I'm going to call them trainers, though. <laughs> just trainers? All right, that's going to get a little confusing. No, let's go right. koalas. Koalas. So just to clarify, koalas cannot play Zen or Lucio, and Olympia cannot play Zarya. So that's uh, how, we're, how we're running it. So that's definitely going to mix things up, especially uh, for koalas. No defensive ult's going to be available. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting to see what, <laughs> what they're going to do. Especially Zen Yada. Oh, but dude, both heroes are just crucial to this meta, so Ready. having neither definitely gonna take its toll, I think, while it's everything you have to think outside of the box to be able to put up a good fight. Let's see what of this. So what do we have, Ruku? Well, we see that Olympia. Olympia's running <laughs> Lucio Arno. Having a Widow, that's going to be crucial to get those picks going. Uh, they have main tank as Winston and off tank as Diva, so it looks like they're kind of running semi divish for defense. Yeah, most definitely, and holding up on this uh, little building up here. Very yeah. common for this composition. And So let's see who's actually going to win the Widow War, because Koalas yeah. decide to go with Widow as well. Widow 1v1, the only difference is that... Uh... There's, they're going to have the shield for Olympia, yes? Yes. Yes. So, a lot more protection for the Widow to work with. And you can see the duel's already happening. Link yep. Link oh. does take down Ayla Mal, but... Great on the Genji. He's looking for him. Won't be able to find him, though, because... Oh, the monkey's in danger. Oh, he leaps out. He leaps out. Diva's pursuing. Oh, they got the monkey pick. Genji's going in. Not going to be able to find anything, but gets a nice old charge. Already at 62%. Pushing forward now. Koala's going to make good progress on this. Getting those early picks. And dude, the, ca the payload is not stopping right now. They, they, they need to contest this, but they're, they're, they're all afraid. They're backing off. What do Winston's we try to got him, but he's off. asleep. Winston gets taken down. Oh, Genji. Genji's still going great. The payload is gonna keep moving. It's just Weepix Milk and Genji on the point. He does have the blade, actually. Will he be able to get something done with this Panzer? He's Drop him low. No, no, no. It's a Diva oh. 1v1. Affinity. Yeah, off. Affinity has to run away. Weepix and Milk. That was a good Very hold. Strong. Good hold. You know, if, you're, if you're chugging Weepix and Milk, look, you got strong bones. You got the energy from the Weepix. Keep Gotta going. Build up them bones. It's big bones. You get bones, man. Cool. I would fear a man with Awfully name. boys. We big some milk. Anyway, let's go back in and the next fight's <laughs> about to start. Let's go. Olympia have some ultimates now. They have the Earth Shatter, and with no shield to really block it, it could. Oh, Winston dies in. He gets anti. The Genji's anti. He's low. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to cap this payload. 
Yeah, it definitely looks like they're sort of just dying one by one. Oh, the oh, 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 has the nanoburst, but he's not really being able to do anything with it. It's the Reinhardt shield. He's shooting afar, trying to take down the Genji, but that's not how the pellet damage works. You've got to be nice and quiet, close to be able to actually get into damage. Oh, possibly to try and get back into another mech to contest this. Nothing, though. Oh, the Urshadow comes out. Oh, the bomb with the bomb. Oh! Gets the one. They gets get the, the as well. monkey. <laughs> they get two. That should be what they need, but a synchronized oh. blade coming out. Is this a visual light show or is this a bloody game of Overwatch? It's the freaking raid <laughs> happening here. Raid gets two. He gets Link Link and Lecky, so DPS and a support. The payload is still. The payload's still slowly, slowly moving. This way. But it looks like they should be able to defend as they have slight spawn advantage, I want to say. Yep. yep, just very slightly, that is yep. true. Maybe. Oh, it's, it's, it's really it's really quite close, but either way, they had the, the spawn advantage because their heroes died just a little bit earlier, and they had yep. the contesting uh, Genji along with the Winston at the end there. Bought them just enough time for the rest of the gang gang to come on in. Keep the defense going. Both Widowmakers have sights ready and available. You know, the Widow Jewel hasn't played a huge part into this series uh, thus far. But, you know, with map hacks... Koala's last push. Uh -oh, the monkey down. does have ult to contest, so he's using it. He's picking off the Ana, they're not doing anything about it. The Ana's gone. Oh no. Then we have, have bricks for heroes, will they be able to actually cap this? Oh no. This is a solid defense happening from Olympia. I think they might be able just to just hold the payload right there. It's, it's Koala's on defense, right? Oh, is it Koala's? Wait, no, we've been saying it wrong this whole... Been, no, Wait, is it Koala's on No, 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 you're right, you're right, you're correct. You're it's correct. Koala's on our attack. We're, we're, we're good. Koala's are on attack. We were incorrect. Oh, Genji going in, but oh, the beat is there. they're going in, they're going in! To support it. The nano boost they're using everything to hold us now. They, they really want them off. They want to stop the payload right here and right now. Dude, Weebix and Milk is stuck to this payload right now. Weebix is just nailing it. Five I think that's it. Oh no. That's all the time Koalas have for this. Now really, I should... Oh, Can we get Dan in early? <laughs> Dan in early to quickly explain what just happened? Dan. Yeah. Dan. Yeah, I mean, I... The one thing I'm kind of most curious about here is that Brig pick. I don't think it's getting the full value that you're kind of looking for, especially on the offense. I didn't see it deal with the Winston particularly much. I saw a few heals on uh, non-prime um, targets. I also saw the nano boost kind of being used a little bit, not really pairing it with something to try and get some ground. So I think you guys should really look at their support line here. Uh, that's going to be the telltale sign for where things are at and seeing how their DPS are dealing with that Widow. Because it's, I see it's really the Divas kind of holding them in the play for koalas right now. Uh, well, Olympia. Uh, God, I really need to get a handle on who's attacking and who's defending. All right, so Olympia. now we have Olympia attacking. <laughs> yes, indeed. No, they don't have to push it that far to be able to get it through here. No, they honestly just need to get it, like, just past the first point. So, Koala's definitely a little scared here. Need to hold a very solid defense. And with this composition, I'm not really feeling it so far. Moira with Brig Will alone. Will get enough healing? Because the Reaper is quite close range. Will they be able to... Will Brig be able to keep him up? Oh, we have to wait and see. And it's also a D.Va paired with a Reinhardt, so a bit of a mismatch composition, it feels like. It feels yeah. like it's half of three different compositions, or one third of three different compositions. Now the Hansa to even potentially spam down that shield. Oh, fire strike! Oh, Ooh, no, no charge for him. <laughs> Gotta wait another one. Eight Sorry, seconds. Daddy Ryan. Gotta be patient. And now Winston, you can see him. Oh, Ryan jumps dive down. In. Ryan drops. They're, they're moving in, they're moving in. It's it seems like they want to fight right here. They have, the, they have the the Reaper close, so this choke point definitely going to be a strong vantage point. It's going to be very good. And Link Link. He's just going to come a bit closer. Oh, they got the Ryan oh, down. No. They got Hands the Ryan. That's big. They can just slowly, slowly push the advantage. No rush going in, but yep. great. The does more, not more care the rush. You need the pick, Widow. Come on, let's get those picks. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the 
Fallas is just slowly going down one by one. I think this is. This may be it. Panther's back. He's asleep. He's Panther's awake again. He's, he's, he's dead. dead. <laughs> oh no. That was a very quick round. Yeah, a very decisive win for Olympia on the attack there. Honestly, we threw it over to Dan what feels like 30 seconds ago, and now the game is over immediately. So really, Dan, what more do you have to add? I mean, I've got to give the credit to Olympia as a whole. Uh, on their offense, even on their defense, they know what comp they're playing, they know how to play it. And I don't see the team plans coming from Koalas in training. Yeah, they seem a little bit lost. I actually didn't mind the team comp on the defense, but it's just really, really weak against a Widow. They have nothing to deal with that Widow. The Widow can freely pick, they can build up the Nano Blade, and no defensive ults because those picks are gone through. So yeah. it feels like Olympia's kind of got their number just from the bands and from the play style in which they know what comp they're uh, wanting to play. And don't see that from Koalas in training at this current stage. Yeah, the, uh, not being able to play Xena Lucio, oh, significant disadvantage any way you cut it. Because unlike last game where, uh, God, I can't remember which team it was. but uh, they, they Olympia play and Ascent? Uh, yeah, I think it was Ascend. No, no, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't Olympia. Sorry. It was uh, uh, sorry. Ascend and... It was Morph. Morph, Morph. couldn't yeah, play the right. Rhine and the Winston. Yeah. And Ascend couldn't play the Lucio. But I think there are a lot healthier alternatives to not being able to play Reinhardt and Winston with the ball, so the four DPS composition yeah. and and the Arista as well, than not being able to play any of the only two heroes in the entire game with defensive alternates. I mean, I guess you can kind of call Brigger defensive ult, but it's not immediate, so it doesn't really do enough. Yeah, and it does expire once they receive and the ult's done. Yeah, definitely. So, like... The is on the on the back foot straight off the bat, unfortunately, opting so for. Is the option really then that four DPS if they can't run those uh, support ults because then you don't need those support ults? That's a kind of question to raise about koalas then. Yeah, definitely take a page out of Morph's book, uh, book in the uh, the four DPS with the ball, and then just chuck a mercy in there. Work for Morph could potentially work for koalas and trainers. Anyway, both teams appear to be ready. So All right, safe. let's get this next map going. Hopefully that will get some more excitement. Blizzard World for the next map, just like last series. It's the exact same, but it's two different teams, so it's not the same. Hopping right in. Gonna wait for these teams so we can uh, actually see what the team compositions are going to be. But I'm really hoping Koalas and Trainers find a more a, a, a solid and approachable team composition that has... A very uh, obvious and approachable like uh, win condition, unlike their fairly mismatched comp that they had last time. That was just kind of you know we have Reaper, he shoot shoot big tank on front line. We have Widow in back line, shoot shoot uh, their back line. Yes, good. Uh, you know, not not really any ultimate synergy or anything along those lines. Uh, not not really any mobility to speak of either, but nothing to close the gap as a result because they have no Lucio. So they need to no do something. No Let's Lucio. hope they can put on some of their trainers and start running self jogging. <laughs> Alright, so take a look at this composition. Olympia. Uh, well, they're, they're still in the... Wait. Olympia's still blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Olympia's still blue. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah. But they have the Torbjorn. That's which is tor why I was a little, a little thrown. So I'm like, are they still in change it? Yeah, are they still in sport? No, they're not. This is what they're going with. They're up okay. for the Torbjorn with the Arisa Hog. And they are positioned on the high ground on the offensive side. It is Koalas. They are yes. using the Brig again here. Uh, unfortunately, no Lucio for the speed boost. So. Comps more, works more together. Have the Ryan and the Zarya. Yep, that's going to have the Zarya instead of the Diva, which they were opting for last time. Definitely, I'd say, a better decision. Sombra going in behind for the Sneaky Sneak. Like, I think this composition definitely works a lot more here than if it than it would have last game. Panzer needs to close this gap or back off right away. His shield is falling, and Arissa has the fortify on the front line, the hook onto the brig, but she is oh, she gets brig, so she She's safe. She's safe. You see, they're pushing up. The team backs her up. Ability oh, has the energy and the hook, damage. Still can't secure a kill. But look at the high ground, it's Hanzo with Indigo on the Zenyatta, they're just pumping damage and a big anti-nade. 
but unfortunately it looks like... I don't think they'll be able to hold us. Yeah, koalas. They need to GTFO. Koalas are coming back, they're in the game! They're and running they through the... the first. Oh, that that was that was a smooth take, very smooth take, just on one push. Yeah, you know I thought that the uh, separation between the heroes, you know, the, they had the high ground positioning and the low ground. I thought the split was going to work out for them because of the difference in verticality, but actually, just to the detriment by the looks. Yeah, I guess they were pumping up too much damage, and that they need to also contest the point. Yeah, that was a definitely a big issue after Arissa had fallen. And in a way, the cart moving forward, Koalas keeping the pressure up. Good progress. Sombra yeah. quickly repos out of there. Oh, now the Nana Boost is in, he's on the back line, he's throwing oh, down he's the bubble. In. The monkey's moving in. But the Koala lessons to defend. Pushing back forward. We pick some milk, needs to be careful, not get demaked to the oh, dragon. There goes the dragon, the dragon does Hands the spirit thing, it separates the Rhine. Oh, he doesn't die though. Oh, it doesn't oh, score the hat coming. Oh, yeah, shadow boy, the shadow dragon. of the dragon. Whoa, the whoa, dragon. whoa, how many ults are these guys using? That is a lot of ultimates used. They've used three, four ults four. in that one fight. Four. All they have left is Affinity's grab. Yeah, but I don't think the sentence all they have left is grab is really a sentence you can use because it is grab. So it's grab as anyone. long as she pulls something yeah. in. It's yeah, useful. Ultimate. It's gonna be the Graviton Surge that you want. Needs to be careful, that's a big anti nade that's on the front line. Ryan. Ryan gets picked off with the Hanzo. Genji comes yep. in and finishes off the brig. Monkey's yeah. moving in hot now. A they perfect anti nade Get the kill on the Indigo and Lucio. Yeah, they want these kills. They wanna, they wanna get them. They smell the fear. Well, a very convincing defense, a big anti nade from offense, really opening things up there with the pick onto Panzer's Reinhardt, and they have the ultimates to keep this defensive hold going. Raid, yep. Nanoblade, potentially. Nanoblade and no defensive ult to speak of. And here Nanoblade it is! Pops gone. off, here he goes, here he goes. He's trying to get the brig. Oh, he manages to get the brig. Not and just the, the brig. Moira. Yeah, yes. both healers are down, which means. They will need to reset. Olympia. Yep, Olympia, win the fight. Uh, you know, healers, you're not really going to do too much. Especially on a map like this where the health packs are uh, all very small and all very separated. So, not all really. All from a far distance. Yeah. No healing. You see the Sombra going solo mission all the way behind. Is she going to get picked? Nice. Ooh! Ooh! That was dangerous. Yeah, that was close. Honestly, probably should have died there with the sleep dart, but uh... Potentially, yes. Oh, well, not quite in time. The dragon... Oh, the dragon gets popped up. Doesn't get a pick yet. Monkey tries knocking the Ryan back in. Oh! Um, <laughs> good night, Ryan! Have a good swim, mate! The, the Ryan's just having a beat. <laughs> oh, no. Well, with a pick like that, another good defense. I was gonna criticize... Uh, cro was it Crocodile? Yeah, cro Crocodile. For popping the primal a little bit early, but I mean... This man's 2 billion IQ, he knew. He knew the trajectory that he was going to throw the Rhine in, and bam, three hits. That, that was You're just like beach. perfect. You're in Ocean. You're, you're, you're heading straight for Murloc Island. <laughs> and that's not where you want to be on the offense, to tell, tell you that. The payload is definitely not there. They they do, they do. are building up the oats though. They nearly have six. They do have half of them, so we'll see if they will start using them soon. One of them is EMP, but you can see the positioning right now. For Olympia, perfect. Oh, oh as I say, perfect cook oh, There we uh, go. Over, over Crocodile Dundee down. got bit the dust. <laughs> yeah, very unfortunate. Weepix does have the bomb. Could be a big bomb. We've seen some big Manza bombs earlier in the series. It. Oh, he's using it. He's using oh, it. Oh, oh, right. oh, oh no. Just, just bit the. Genji did That's manage to pick off the brig. Here's all the olds. Here we go. Oh, Olympia. Right. Uses the Genji and Nano, but gets countered with the grab. Halo is a moving dog. Halo is a moving, and the Genji play did get pick off two of the members. Dude, the Sombra. Oh, oh, we're playing spotlight oh, right oh, now. Oh, 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 she did not have it available, I assume. 
only 35 seconds on the clock, so this is really do or die right now. Potentially, they are very close to it. As long as they, they get a decent pick, they may be able to push this. They have EMP Earth Shadow though. They don't have the uh, the mobility to contest the high ground, however. Especially deciding that they're gonna just run it down main. It's a little unfortunate. The dragon coming through. Ryan coming in for an angle, trying to separate the team. Ryan's all by himself. I think this might be the end of Ryan. Oh, it's the anti -made. Oh. There's the EMP to there's, follow! There's the EMP! They're going, they're going, they're trying to push in, and Divas is gonna get the mech. Divas mech. Briggs aiming for that baby! <laughs> Not the baby! The Please. baby, Briggs! The payload's moving forward, though. Moving forward, Keep the hunt was behind them trying to get some picks off! Somebody kill the baby! She's still alive, she's gonna get mech if you don't kill her! Oh, baby's really dead. Great. Did that the How is this great? That's the blade! He's picked up one, he's picked up two! The blade! He's the blade is the cutest! The oh, blade. the twin dragons going dragon. off! Oh. Too bad the dragon cannot contest the point! No one this has may been, the be it. has been shopped! Offends with Grave, the nano boost of the year! To keep them securely in that second section. Stop that payload of moving. And my god, I, I thought that was koalas. I'll be honest. They were getting there. I think I think they've improved much better within this map than the previous one. Oh, most definitely. I mean, they got past the first point. <laughs> and near yeah. to the second. Yeah, that, that definitely sticks out like a nice little thumb. That that very small hey, piece of information. Hey, as long as they're able to defend the first point, they might be solid right here. Yeah, just full hold. Just yeah, just, you know, a tall bastion, Arissa Ryan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just dink some heads, and win some games, get some SR. It's quite easy. Easy. Well, well, will they opt for the same thing on defense by the looks? Link Link? So. link it's Link Lunk, not Link Link. Jeez. Oh, link Lunk. Lunk Lunk. That's what casters are here for, for butchering names and casting plays. I'm just gonna call him Link from now on. Link Link actually sounded nice and rolled with the tongue, but Link Lunk? Nah. Link Lunk. Miss, miss he, sounds, he sounds like a workout freak. Lunk. Huh? lunk. Yeah, I lunk. mean, his full username on Discord is Link Lunk Link. Try that out, one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just calling him Triple L. Triple L? Yeah. Well, oh, they're setting up on the high ground for the defense here. Reinhardt, Zarya, Brig, Mora, with Link. And do this, yeah, do this. Doomy. This new guy got to do some doomy fists. Doom the entirety of Olympia so that they lose Let's see. the series. What is Olympia doing? They're moving in for the left. Jump it if Monkey tries to get higher ground, they drop off. Yeah, Alright, it seems like it's going according to Olympia's plan. Uh oh. Oh, right. oh, 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 that was dangerous. Right yeah, that was like pixel off hitting the wall and dying there. Very close. But anyway, so oh, far so good. He's coming Koalas. behind from the left, oh. jumping behind. I don't think they've noticed him. Yeah, he has the high right, ground. Now they do. All right, Diva's moving in. Yeah, Diva, a little she, bit over. She's gonna get the mech. She's against the mech. Oh, anti nade oh, though. It's huge anti and freaking Doof has got slapped. <laughs> Biggest down, boys. And it looks like Olympia, despite like Olympia, is gonna take this. It looks like they're gonna be able to take the point. I mean, yep. Doomfist, Doomfist, There's please Doomfist, get out come soon. Come on, come on, Doomfist, combo he's, uh, them. Shit. He's on his way out. Look, he, he can kill one player and then he's he's stuck naked and afraid for about four seconds. Ran away yeah. like a little girl. Yeah. You say like a little girl, I say like a big brain gamer. Anyway, someone's going <laughs> to need to get on the payload here to keep it moving. It's going to be Anna. It's so a limited it. healing. They have to be careful not to overextend, of course. Of course. Of course, Diva wants to try and get her mech back. Yeah, Wheat Bix and Which she will. Well, like, is a very soggy Wheat Bix without her mech. And that is not what you want. At least it's not what I want. You know, it's, it's a perfect, is perfect state of Wheat Bix that I like. Can't make it into Porridge, because then it's too far gone. Anyway, the payload keeps moving forward. Monkey Monkey's yeah. creeping over. Yeah. He's on the back line while they're chasing the front. Oh, Genji pops up with an and Blade. He it's manages to get the Moira. He goes for the Hanzo. Manages to really get the third. Yes, he does. Yes, he Clean. Clean. <laughs> Genji, I like the cut of your jib, big boy. You're going strong so far. Look at these nano blades have been. Blade. I chopped this match. <laughs> yeah, look, this is what happens when you have no defensive ults. 
from either a Zen Yada or a Lucio. The ban system is really, really sticking it to Koala. Right oh, and I think they just oh, won. They, can't even they just won. Point. They could not contest. <laughs> All right, so that's two up for Olympia. All right, Olympia. I, I'm feeling like Olympia might make this a free zero. Yeah, really, opting for those bands on the Xan and the Lucio is proving to be an excellent choice, if I say so myself, as we throw it over to Dan for the analysis. Dan. Oh, uh, I mean, well played by Olympia. They're playing really, like, there's a lot of good little highlights, little things that they're doing well. Um, we can kind of focus on their offense there, since that was the most recent, uh, if you want to, fellas. Oh, sorry. You're, yep. you're, you're yeah, making, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see you guys. Now. Oh, yeah, hi. yeah. I'm joining. I'm making you guys join in. <laughs> sorry. All right. Well, look. So, things that they did well is that they were setting up the Winston with the Matrix to allow him to dive in. The Winston and the Genji were pairing well on the offense. Uh, you even saw the Diva making space, putting the body on the line to get the big nade, allow them to snowball through that first. But. I think you really have to highlight just their team plans and synergy. For instance, the Lucio was hiding very far back because he had EMP and he knew that the enemy Sombra, sorry, that he knew that the enemy Sombra had EMP and he had B. So they're playing around the enemy ults well and adjusting their positions, and they have their general pairings up, which is fantastic to see. On the flip side, for Koalas, they can't I play the Lucio. <laughs> I mean, they can't play the Zen and the Lucio, but the questions really fall around uh, their DPS and their off tank. For instance, they're over altered. They didn't pair the Hanzo and the Grav together. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it's really like a big question really comes up for Link Lu. In if he's playing that Hanzo, he needs to be a getting those picks and b making sure that he's getting high value from those dragons because that's the area of, of concern so really look out for link uh link lu or link lonk and see how he performs in this uh following map now yeah definitely you, you saw every time he altered basically was just to try and split the enemy team and it never really ended up working out quite as he wanted definitely so didn't that, get any picks as a result that's for sure so what are the chances that koalas will win this map it's a control it's a control point well, King of the Hill style. So possibly, they might be able to take this one. Look, uh, you know, they've been through two defeats now, so surely, as a result of that, they have had more time to learn and think about a strategy that doesn't involve either Zen or Lucio that can defeat the Olympia Odyssey. Uh, you, know, you know what they should do? What? 6 DPS. 6 DPS? 6 you know, DPS, you know why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you can kill them, you don't need hills. Uh, 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 <laughs> kill them <laughs> before they can kill you. You aren't incorrect. You're definitely not incorrect. But at the same time, Five. this is what with two tanks. Let's go. <laughs> well, they've opted koalas to go for the doomfist again. They have three tanks this time with a doomfist. I didn't really see the doomfist do too much last game, unfortunately. But you know what? New game, new him, right? Anyway, starting off the map. A big pin coming out from Crookendale. Takes down Affinity straight away as they charge in. Push the advantage. The Discord is on the Reinhardt. They are pushing are dropping hard. Low. Oh, they're oh, they backing off. Careful they the hook. Doofus is like, what do I do? Oh, he's, he's oh, trying to get him killed. No. Oh, no. They lost Panzer. They need to wait for that now. <sighs> they're, they're, they're pushed all the way back. The Koalas are back home. <laughs> they're, back, uh, they're in the nerd, they're in the nurture, nurture, uh, something like that. I don't go to Zeus. What are those called? They keep the sanctuary, a koala sanctuary. Sanctuary? Yeah, sanctuary. There you go. The nest. We're leaving the nest now. Ganging up top right. Oh um, no, the wall again. Oh no, they've been separated. The main wall, the main wall. The hook. Doomfist is down, oh, no. boys. They're back on the back. They're back on. It's a big fire strike, though. Panzer has the shadow. If they don't suspect it, he could get a big one, but he's blocked off by the wall, so if he does go for blocked it, off. he's going to die anyway. At this least is brutal. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no. No. <laughs> I was just about to say that the man's like lit up like a bloody candle, and then he pulls off the map, losing all his shards. He's 70%. He's 70 if you just kept oh. the energy. Oh no. That's. Uh, 
that's a that's a capital D colon there, boys. F in chat, my boy Affinity, just taking it off the map. All right, all right. They're, they're trying the same place again with the ma with oh, the Oh, the the Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> didn't get anyone. Oh, oh, the shatter, the shatter just everyone. No, it's a six-man shatter, and you boys are gone. You're in the danger zone. You're in it's the rumble. Murder. You tussle with just the at the back. Dog. You tussle with the quick dog. You, you, it's not a good. It's not a good idea. You wrestle. What is a wrestle with Jeff? Prepare for death. And in this case, Crocodile is Jeff. Mr. Kaplan himself has blessed us with his presence, and he's in the form of a very dirty Reinhardt. So dirty. Great has the mail, so this could just be another lost fight. Potentially, but maybe she's waiting for them to bail all the oh, and there it is. Every ult is being thrown out right now, but Light is holding. Everyone is using everything. Is. But Come Affinity on, Doofus, has using your on oh, Doofus is using his! Affinity has popped the Graviton Surge, but what happened to it? I didn't even see where it went. It's gone. It's not in the game anymore. Anyway, Doofus is suddenly on the pale, on the point, rather. Still on the point. And They've made it through the point. He's by himself, he needs to touch. He's touching as much as he can. <laughs> the heels are being kept up in the morning, but she doesn't have a... Oh, Crookedale, beautiful. Oh, no. How is he surviving? The heel isn't there anymore. Doofus is down! Let's see how long the Tracer will last. The Tracer is going to go in 3, 2, the 1. Tracer in a situation oh, where they're as effective as a Mozambique, which isn't very much at all. Link Lunk has been fallen Link as well. Link Panzer is dead. Who is last? Who is left? Who is left in this murder? Oh no. The boys. That was brutal. Okay. Oh. Dan. What happened? Dan. Oh, what happened? I mean... I think that Olympia playing to their comp strengths is as simple as that. They had, you know, the two, the run that three supports, they had two self uh, sufficient uh, off tanks or characters in, with the May and the Hog. Obviously, they couldn't play the Zarya, so they swapped the Zarya to the Hog and made it work. And on uh, Koalas, that comp was just wonky. It was really wonky with the Doomfist and the Hog, but hey, we'll see what goes in this round. Yeah, look, I literally just made the joke, like, a few seconds ago, but the Doomfist pick in my eyes, you know, about as effective as a Mozambique. It's not... It hasn't really provided much, if anything, to the side of Koalas. So hopefully oh, they drop back. Wait. Great! Great! The Wrecking Ball! The Wrecking oh, Ball! Oh, oh, he gets the... Oh, oh. The Madman. Jubated. He's just, he's just serving as a distraction, you know? Clearly, clearly. Good, good distraction. distraction. Keeping his team on edge, so they're not slacking off. Oh, great. Oh, the Wrecking Ball's going in. Where is he going? I don't know, but in the meantime, Whitmix and Milk is taking down the Pharah of Koalas. Oh, pick. Breaking Ball pushes the Ryan. Ryan's definitely out of position. Whew. Oh. I think this may be Olympia's fight. Mercy's low. Mercy's gone bye bye. Lucio gets that extra <laughs> O for the environmental kill. Mercy's oh, gone no. bye bye, boys. She's out. Oh of no. Here. Diva's like, screw this. No, Damn. let me Take end myself. <laughs> Take it off the map. Well, the Pharah is gone. He has opted for the Reaper now. Can't say I'm a big fan of this, but I mean, if they keep going right side, at least they can uh, pump more damage into that very small choke point, I definitely. suppose. I think the Reaper is definitely a counter towards the monkey they're trying to deal with. Could be. I mean, they're, they're opting to go for the right side, so this is where Reaper will excel. If they're going to take any path, it should be the right path. The right path it's the is Reaper the right path. path. It is. Do they see the ball? No, they don't. The ball's in the back line. He's popped the ult. There goes the Sombra. And Sombra gets out. Ball runs in. Getting, knocking everyone. Monkey goes yeah. in. Oh, they're oh, quite The Manu boots gone to the Monkey Man. How monkey Man's gonna get some good kicks. There, there goes the brakes. Cook down. 35 more. The Manu boots has ended. Oh. Link Link. He needs to be careful. The Reaper's doing ah. the damage. But he's part the Primal Rage. Oh, Soza died. <laughs> he, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so just taking it off the map. And in the meantime, Lucio's oh, going. He's moving in. He's mad. Reaper's by himself. Or Wrecking Ball's by himself as well. Do you think they're able to get the Wrecking Ball? Oh, oh Anna's going for the Reaper. Reaper. They're going for the Reaper. Oh, my goodness. You oh, can't that's stagger, gonna stagger when there. you're at 76%. You've only got time for one more fight. And now you've got to rush it. They're going to move fast. Uh, they're on the bright side. They're really close to a lot of ultimates. They have the Coalescence. They almost have Reaper ult. They have Link. 
Blunt on. He's McCree. He has the ultimate there. And they also almost have both tank goals. Lucio has decided oh, to try and Lucio make it. Lucio decides to take, take it the there. What is it with these teams that are taking it off the map today? Anyway, Affinity does manage to touch. He is on the point right now. He probably... Reba, he's, he's getting the... He's focusing the Winston down. They really need to use these ultimates. Affinity's using a Debo ult. A big EMP yeah. comes out and they can't use any more ultimates. Oh. They need to be able to keep the Reaper alive. We still have the ultimate but it's the only one that's celebrating. He's just taking wheelies around this point. Oh. Does it? Oh. He's one. He's one. He's one. He's one. Will he be able he to kill the rest? Change. He picks up two. Oh, he oh, no. goes. <laughs> we can touch. Right on. No. No. And that's it. That is Olivia all. Olivia Odyssey. Another 3 0. Very clean. It, well, these teams are clean today. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know that I call taking off the map twice within one round clean, but they got the job done. It was. Here you go. Great. Right. Oh, 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 beautiful. Look at that. When did Breaking that even happen? Everyone to take a bath. That was in the last fight. How did we bloody miss that? <laughs> All right. Well, my camera wasn't placed correctly anyway. Neither. There you have it. Another swift 3-0. This time in the favor of Olympia Odyssey, taking down koalas and trainers. To, to win that, they needed to be fucking... I mean, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they needed to be koalas in, a, like, steel armor or something like that, because my, oh, my. Anyway, Dan, what do you reckon? Um, I mean, going for that last map, I honestly think that koalas had a good comp in dealing with the, the ball comp from Olympia. The... The Brig deals well with the ball. The McCree deals well with the ball. The Reaper deals well with the Winston and the ball. So, like, they had the team comp. Obviously, the Lucio does impact them and being able to touch the point and get those multiple fights. But it seemed like they were always waiting on someone being slept or someone being pushed out of position. They weren't doing a lot of uh, checking of the Sombra. And... On the flip side, Olympia, they were playing the angles really well. They had, uh, when Koalas and Training were going through the white room, they had the Ana on the left-hand side near this, their side of the bridge, and then the Soldier on the opponent's side of the bridge, and having those fire, like long sight lines straight down to the white room, I think they were playing the, really well, playing the comp to the strengths, and creating those multiple angles which they needed to. I think it just threw Koalas uh, for a loop. I think also in that very last round, I think Koala's team composition, the way they were playing and the way that uh, Olympia were trying to deal with it, I think that it would have actually worked if they had done it sooner. But yes. just, yeah, staying on staying on the other composition, I think the one with the Farron, just a little bit too long because they likely would have won that last fight, but they couldn't get the odds because of a beautiful EMP coming out from I Indigo, I believe. I believe yeah. it was. Yeah, I believe it was Indigo. Yeah. So a beautifully placed EMP and... All of a sudden, you've got all these ults, but you can't use them. And not to mention that boop that we saw. Jesus. Those boops. You know, that's game-changing, especially at the uh, coming to the end when, obviously, Koalas and Trainers had, I think, six ults? All six? Or was it five? Uh, I think they had, it was pretty much close. Five, I think it was, yeah. like, nearly five, yeah. It was definitely so, at least know, five, yeah. They had a good ult bank, and they just couldn't make it work. Obviously, you know, very well played uh, by... Olivia. Like the Hammond on that, getting yeah. those three knockoffs, just easily turns it into the favor without even considering the ults. Yeah, you can see how proficient that man was uh, at the start of the round, you know, just dangling off the map a little bit. Just, yeah, very just, proficient with his, with just hanging. Ones. Yeah, well, you know, he, he didn't die. He didn't fall off the map like three other members throughout that uh, last match, so... They, hmm. hey, they didn't fall off. It was planned. <laughs> planned. It was just, <laughs> just a, a weird, a strange flex, if you will. Well, anyway, that's that's all the games for tonight, right, fellas? That's it. Looks that's like all. A... That is all. Next week's going to be interesting. The new patch comes out before it. Oh, new patch for next week's games. So the Mantis will be disabled. He will be disabled, but the but all the other changes will come. Yeah. Uh, is and it always coming it's... through stream? It is, right? And it's other maps as well. I believe uh, my voice is coming through stream. Yeah, no, that would make sense. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. To make it sure. Yeah. Very so interesting. Following week, we'll have Route 66, Hollywood, and Oasis. Um, just to end things up yep. for the general rounds. I think it's going to be interesting. See what well, bands people put through. Yeah. I think people are kind of getting a little bit of a 
bigger or better idea in that you're seeing tonight. Uh, two teams have done a full ban on isolating a particular role, whether it was off supports or main tanks. It's forcing their uh, enemy team to play a lot differently. Yeah, well, that seems to be the way to go rather than protecting. Make sure that you're, uh, rather than making sure key picks of your team are gone, you decimate the enemy team's ability to support themselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or koalas and terrainers. Oh, no. <laughs> or to protect themselves or to, I mean, have we seen any bans on DPS lately? That just shows no, you really gave the that. There's so many DPS and there's so little main, uh, like defensive support healers. Really, the you'd think the play would be to ban Zen and Lucio almost every game, or or ban one of them and protect one of them. Yeah, yeah because you, the you banning of Le Le Lucio Le and Zen are really, really powerful. Because you just when someone pops the blade, you you fuck. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. What? What? He really... Jesus, who's beaten the You're done goofed. Uh, uh, if anything, I think people are getting too comfortable with the life of goats and getting used to the speed boost. Uh, that I think it's made a lot of people kind of fall into, well, I don't know how to play anymore without that Lucio speed aura. People are, they've essentially forgotten how to play the old dive meta. So they have to start from scratch and we can see it's really showing on teams who either have A, practice it or maybe play a bit of like, like those dive characters and play it and understand the characters role really well, they're making it shine. So it's... It's something to kind of learn from from here is that maybe some people are, or teams are depending on uh, the current competitive meta, which is impacting them. Yep, and this is what makes the PPE Community Cup the best tournament going on happening right now in Australia because we're the only one that lets teams play something that isn't goats. And ah, I think that's a good. Really I think that's a good place it's a good feeling to end it up, boys. Yep. Join us next time, Thursday, same time, same place, 7.30 p.m. for our first match and then swiftly heading into the second one as well. The two teams participating in next match, who are they, Dan? Uh, the maps for next week? Uh, do we know the teams? Uh, teams? Not yet. Don't know the teams. Not we'll yet. We don't know the out. teams, but we know the maps, we know the place, and you know the time. So be there for the PPE Community Cup. And be a bunch of epic gamers. Thank you and good night. <laughs>